This is Fire Queen, little Fire Queen. <coughs> Her grandmother saved me from Grizzly Bear Charge. Little Fire Queen was born up in Canada for breeding care. I cloned the mother until Little Fire Queen came back. Now they fully own that breeding pair. Awesome, awesome family up there that raising dogs for service work, etc. Therapy up in Canada. We are not far, we're not even five minutes away from the little broken old ranch. And we're heading towards the side gates from the Parmiter Creek. At Libby, Libby, Montana. And I've taken, this is the fifth walk out this far for the puppies. And this will be their second time at going to the side gates, little side streams that come down, um, that run. Oops, sorry, baby. That's still peanut. He's always wants to be close and when I'm stepping it's quite often that he almost gets fully stepped on. He yiked because he thought he was going to get stepped on more. So we're looking for that stream. I will turn turn it back on. Well I can hear I can hear the little streams from the side gate the side gate. I'm going to shut this off for a little bit. As you can see, the puppies are quite uh, terrain brave. These puppies are ones that are staying with me for future breeding plans. Um, like I mentioned, the biggest puppy here. They're all, um, <clears throat> fairly close to the same age. Little Fire Queen was born up in Canada. There's two boys, <clears throat> two brothers, Peanuts right there with the shaved face, and his brother Ruger right here. They are Gaston sons, and they were born here. And there's two girls that were born in November, Olivia, uh, Olivia and Whitney. They have very curly tails. They are from just on as well, and a daughter of Taser, the Russian import, and then the lightest colored girl, right there, very square, she's the lightest one out of, out of a whole litter that were born in January to Spark and Coulter, and I chose her, uh, I didn't mind her having a lighter red color. Because I know she'll produce really red puppies. I chose her because of how square back she is. How short back and square she is. Okay, so this is the puppy's second introduction to uh, fashion and water. That's safe. Because the cat, the cat, the cat be swept away here. And they've all learned how to get a little bit wet and jump across. This is a good thing. Babies, good job. I can hear somebody's got a trail bike on the other side here. Stop barking. Oh, there's a baby. Good puppy. Yes, that's Ruger. And peanuts. Barking. Honeycomb. Olivia. Olivia. And Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Can I come across? Good puppy. So great. Good girl. Good pup. Good puppies, yes, this is fun. This is fun, yes, there's mosquitoes here though. There's Olivia. And Ruger. Ruger boy. Ruger, hi Ruger. This boy, died about this. And there's Honeycomb. And Whitney. Whitney is short for witness. The red stream has witness in it, and Olivia, her her name has all of the The scriptures in the Bible. Anyway, dogs that I keep to myself, I, I generally name them according to something I've been thinking about spiritually. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get across the street. 
about dropping my glove or the phone. It looks like walking across here will be the best, best for going up higher. So big step. There. Okay. Need it. This is how people are going to go up here. I'm going to go up the screen. And I'm recording this so that my children and grandchildren pretty soon Lord well in this fall there'll be 25 little grandchildren out there who would probably like to know what grandma does. What grandma does down Grandma Kathy, what I do down in Montana, what son I have. Little puppy came up. Now he's the smallest puppy here. He also if I wanted to improve him I would have given him a heavier coat, but it seems to be growing in pretty good now. But he is the bravest for train stuff. You saw him just splash right into the little stream there and go, go down stream. And, and day before yesterday, when we came out here and tried crossing water the first time, he was the first puppy to go for it. He's an awesome little puppy. I thought someday maybe a grandchild will come here and and peanuts will go home with him, but uh, if not, he's going to stay here and be my personal little dog. Then maybe he'll get to start our litter later of smaller agility dogs, because he's certainly agile. Aren't you? Aren't you peanut? He has a cute little dog. Okay, let's keep going. Here's where we crossed the day before yesterday on Saturday for the first time at this little Y here. These little streams that carry on down and go down to uh, Crossway Avenue and Avenue B. Um, folks have, they have their houses and yards with this little stream going right through their backyard. It's very nice. I've never seen that done before where this stream has been set up where it can go through the city. Okay, let's see if I can I need to change my shoes because these don't have as good a sole. But uh, Peanut read my mind and he scaled the fence, the puppy fence, where he could tell I was going to come out to him. So I was in a hurry to make sure he didn't run into the baby ducks or dog ones on the yard. So I didn't change my footwear. So generally I wear shoes that have thicker soles because there's a lot of rocks out here and you can bruise your feet if you're, not, if you're not careful. Okay, so now we're going up the stream. It's all pretty. This is just a little, little one. There's a gate up here by the big stream that lets the water in. So now we're going to go back on the trail because it's harder to walk here. And I'm going to shut this off for a little while. Bye.